Hello and welcome to Terraria. My name is Todd, also known as Dio and this is of course Terraria. Last time we left off, um, kind of building our base. It might look a little bit different to you though. So I did take a little bit of time um, off screen to like upgrade our base. I uh, added, uh, of course, these houses here on the last episode, and I added some to our base here, and I also added these houses over here. I didn't add anything after these two houses. Uh, I will be adding more houses to facilitate our NPCs and kind of get up their happiness, but I need to branch them out and kind of get them across the world. And the easiest way to do that is to get better tools so we can like dig and build in other places. And the best way to do that is of course, just progressing in the game. So for now, this will have to do, we have most of the NPCs that we kind of need right now. So I'm not really gonna worry about it too, too much. Um, it is kind of overcrowded, and that might make our prices pretty bad, but that is something we will live with. Um, so for this part, I wanted to buy a bunch of dynamite. Let me just buy... Let's just buy a whole bunch. That'll do. Um, we're going to be fixing our elevator here. That is our main goal this time around. Small explosion that will spread dirt. Interesting. I didn't know you could make this. That's another addition. It, it spreads dirt weird. Um, so we do have our stacks of dirt in our inventory, we have our explosives for making our elevator, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Major goal, of course, is just kind of make a way down that is more conducive, because the big thing about our current setup right now is, is that we have this big path right here, which I wanted to just destroy. I wanted to get through here so we could kind of go around here. This kind of area here where it kind of zigzags we might clean up later as well, but for now I just wanted to clean up this big area in between here. We also don't really have a way to negate fall damage yet, so uh, having like this little stair stepper kind of platform thing is not actually that bad of a thing to have. So we're going to be using mostly dynamite. Um, Sticky dynamite in particular, because it sticks to the surface that it's dropped on, and it's easy to deal with. Less likely for us to kill ourselves with it. So we're just going to drop a bunch of these, and those should hopefully explode as they go down. And it'll give us a nice pathway downwards. Like I said, I'm just making a cut through here. Um, this all kind of also kind of gives us some extra blocks with which to make our bridge. Because this episode, uh, I don't even know if I explained that we're going to be making our bridge in the underworld to fight the Wall of Flesh. Now, there's one thing that I would highly recommend that most people get when trying to do this, and that is an obsidian skin potion. Because the first time you fight the Wall of Flesh, you're going to be dealing with a lot of lava, but hopefully we won't summon the Wall of Flesh early. <laughs> if we, at any point during this episode, summon the Wall of Flesh, we're probably just gonna die. Um, I'll give it my best attempt, I'm not saying that I'll just quit before the fight's over, but I don't think we're gonna succeed in defeating him that easily. Um, the Expert Wall of Flesh is actually quite difficult. A lot of the bosses in Expert Mode have extra modes, of course, they have like an extra layer of difficulty. Um, kind of enraged timers, uh, you could say, but just when they get to low HP, they tend to be tougher, which causes problems. Um, makes what some people would consider relatively easy bosses not as easy anymore. Uh, let's, go, let's get out of here before we get exploded. Just throw two right there. There. How close are we here? Pretty okay. Well, let me just expedite this a little bit. Um, so we're just going like this, and then we're just going like this. Now we're just going to keep drawing. Hopefully that'll work. Kind of space out your throws because of the timer that it's got on it. Give it enough time to actually reach the bottom. That should have given us a nice way down. It did. Uh, Alright, what do we have here? We have a potion, that'll be useful. So I'm gonna use that. If 
far down did you make it? I know okay, I'm out. Uh, down. At least I gotta get just a little bit far into that. So we'll go here, like this. Like that. Stabilize ourselves. So we just kind of pull downwards here. Two, three, four, five. Let's say five. So very close. Um, let's just throw one, two. That should do it. Now I'll come back up here. I'll grab any extra blocks in this along the way. So um, I am going to be making a bridge in the underworld. And a lot of people tend to make those out of platforms, but I'm going to make it out of blocks this time and see how that goes, because I have kind of an idea what I want to do with that. So I'm hoping it'll work. I don't actually know if it will for certain, but we'll see. Alright, so that creates this little pathway through. Gives us kind of a better elevator there. Um, and we're going to use that to hopefully deal with any of the challenges we're coming across. So I'm also going to be using my B-gun a little bit more. Um, we do have the mana for it. Might as well try it out. Try and get some usage out of it. I'm kind of just going to be building this platform and uh, just kind of starting it out, explaining what I'll be doing, and then uh, probably calling the episode there, just because of the fact that I'll be doing most of this work off screen, as it's mostly just uh, digging around and kind of creating a bridge, and it's not very interesting, unless I accidentally summon the wall of flesh for any reason, uh, but then, like I said, I will probably just die. And kind of not worry about it too much, because uh, I want to make sure to get that on screen, and uh, so I, won't, I definitely won't be killing the world flesh off screen, I'll just be building a bridge. So I figure I can cut most of that out as it's probably not going to be very thrilling, and uh, kind of a lot of the grindy parts of Terraria you can just skip, you don't really have to focus too, too much on, and it's probably for the best that you don't because it just kind of gets all the money sometimes. You can see that with the Hive Pack, the bee gun is actually pretty insane with those bigger, like, hornet-like bees. It, uh, it really destroys most pre hard mode enemies, and even against, like, the Wall of Flesh, for instance, it'll be pretty strong. Just because of the fact that it holds alone is pretty good. So we'll pretty much be using the B gun and then swapping to the space gun when we uh, run out of mana, because of course our space gun is infinite in the mana regard. Um, there is also an item we could have gotten already, and that is the mana flower, which we will be getting our hands on uh, soon enough. It just requires a mana potion and the nature's gift, which we already have, which will allow us to consume mana potions automatically. It's just currently, at this time, we don't really have easy access to mana potions, so it's not as worth it as it will be later on when we have easier access to mana potions. Which we'll get from the NPC, who will sell them. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a big thing. The NPC, of course, I was referring to is the wizard, but we haven't seen him. Hopefully, we'll get him soon, early in a hard mode, because you can get him, I'm pretty sure, it's just as soon as hard mode begins. He also uh, sells crystal balls, which are a good buff item for wizards, and also uh, a crafting station for some magic spells, which we'll probably be trying to get our hands on. Of course, because of the fact that we're a wizard ourselves. Um, ooh, it's treacherous here, isn't it? Alright, so, for the purpose of our little bridge here, um, I'm going to come through here, release the bees. Um, my major goal is to just ensure that we have a way to get through. Uh, kind of the underworld without having to fly. So having to fly at any point, um, or like jump, would be annoying during the Wall of Flesh, and also just kind of a big problem, so we're just going to create a bridge. Uh, so 
Bridges like I am. Of course, the big thing is that the hell enemies will be annoying, but also uh, one of the most annoying enemies to deal with at these times would be the lava slimes. Now you might ask me, why are they annoying? Well, they're mostly annoying because of the fact that when they die, they drop a tiny pool of lava. So, as you can see, I've left a one block gap right here. We can run across that just fine. But if a lava slime dies anywhere on our bridge along here, the lava will drip down through here and drip into the lava down there, preventing our bridge from being covered in lava. The big thing is you don't want to create pools of lava on your bridge, because that just means that your bridge is just as dangerous as everywhere else, and then you've kind of defeated the point of it. So I'm going to hope that my imp can actually do work here. It's looking like we're going to have to supplement a lot of his stuff with bees. building like these small staircases just for convenience sake. Of course you can run up these one blocks so that, that's an easy not having to jump up that. Uh, we're also trying to get close enough to the lava to actually be able to get into there if we need to. Uh, it would be kind of nice to... Oh, there it is. Right there. To kind of have some of these platforms some of these roofs, so I'm going to steal some of these platforms. Um, now, platforms will be destroyed by lava slimes, so they're kind of like a detriment. Uh, actually, you know what? I should probably just kill this guy. Two block wide gap will be good, which also reminds me I need to make a hole right there. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. That'll work. Just so I can get over this building here, hopefully. Get any of the resources out of it if I need to. I'm looking for, of course, obsidian skin potions from uh, these pots. And, of course. They have a pretty good chance of dropping obsidian skin potions, actually. Uh, let me get rid of these platforms, on the other hand. We'll put that down. Uh, I don't need this torch. I don't really need my bombs anymore. Uh, let me go to this platform over here. I'll put them in the bank and I will store these bombs, because I don't need them in my inventory. Alright, so that's pretty much the gist of what I'll be doing here. If I manage to get obsidian skin potions, I'm going to use them. I might save them if we have to find them in flesh. When we have to find them in flesh, of course. Now, I managed to dodge both of those attacks right here. That brain of confusion is a godsend sometimes. It's weird to think about, because it used to be so useless. directions, so make sure that you're doing that as you're going. I'm just going to make this bridge as long as I think I can, without hopefully dying, uh, while also trying to get my hands on as much um, materials as I'm able to. Uh, so the hellstone, of course, but that's easier said than done. So, these are the 
lava so the person as you saw. <laughs> they, when they die, they drop a little bit of lava, which we've already created a path that like kind of drizzles that out, so we're not worried about that too much. Um, as long as you have that pathway, which will get rid of the lava, you're pretty much golden when it comes to those lava slimes, which that is what we want to be. We do not want um, any lava getting to us, really. Yeah, we have the obsidian shield, of course, so we have immunity to fire blocks, but not immunity to lava. So we're, we're fine standing on the hellstone, just not when it breaks. Kill that. When it breaks, it of course becomes lava out, which is extremely damaging right now. I don't think Hellbats are actually immune to... Lava. Which is kind of beneficial for us. Kind of just a weird thing. We'd think that they would be immune to that, given the fact that they're pretty much beings of living fire. Oh, dang it. see those bees kind of persist pretty well and they tend to kill a lot more than you'd expect which is kind of nice allows you to just kind of focus on marching your way through oh dear dang it tiny little bit of ash right there that's all it takes uh, let's kill so um the major reason why i choose to make it out of solid blocks instead of platforms is, if I had made this out of platforms, it would have uh, been broken every time a lava slime hit it. Um, so every time a lava slime was killed on top of it, it would break. Which, that is a problem for us. Oh, okay. I forgot that they did a uh, 55 damage a hit. Dang. Apparently I also wasn't paying attention to my HP. So yeah, that is effectively what I'll be doing from here until the next episode. <laughs> it's just kind of going down there and breaking that and creating a big old long platform to fight the wall flesh, like I said, trying to get any extra um, uh, obsidian skin potions while I'm doing it. I might actually uh, swap from my meteor set into my B set just to... Um, get the extra summons so they can protect me while I'm down there, uh, but I, when I actually go to fight the boss I'll probably switch back to my meter set. Regardless, that's something I might do, just because summons are really great when you're building, and specifically at times like this they're really just fantastic to use in those situations. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to end the episode here though, so until next time, goodbye!